Hi there, my name is Anita and this is my sewing channel, Sewing Yogi. Welcome and thank you for joining me. So today I am bringing you my January makes. I am sorry this is a little bit late um, and so today I thought I'd quickly come on and do this. Um, the light is going so unfortunately I'm going to try and get this done as quick as I possibly can so you can see the makes. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoy seeing what I made in January, there's not much, so it should be quick and short, but having said that, I waffle a lot, so it might not be. <laughs> so yeah, I should get on and tell you what I got made. So my first make for January was this particular thing that I'm wearing now, and it is Simplicity 9210. And I have made one of these before, and if you have seen that vlog, I did it in a really crazy um, animal print fabric, um, and I loved it. So I think I made, um, I think a medium, and it ended up being too oversized for me. The m main problem is the neck here that's quite wide, so on the medium it just was like hanging off my shoulders. Um, it doesn't look too bad, and I still wear it because it's really snugly. But I wanted to make another one um, and make it a little bit smaller. So I have this time made the extra small. I'm not quite sure why I went with the extra small because I think I was intending to make the small and then I've ended up cutting out the extra small and I actually think it's maybe just a tad a little bit too tight across the chest here. So I'm going to go back to the small. I don't know what I was doing. I think I might have had a mind blip. But anyway, it's still okay, I still can wear it, but what I might do is undo the stitching because um, I have got overlocking underneath in the seams and I still have my seam allowances. So if I undo the stitching, um, I'll have the overlocking still there which will still keep it intact. And I think that might open it out a little bit. But generally, I love this pattern. It's the snuggliest pattern. I know I say that probably quite, quite a few patterns I've done, it's quite snuggly, but this one is for around the house, um, sitting in front of the TV and generally just being snuggly, especially when I'm in my sewing room and it's freezing in the daytime and because I'm not putting the heating on, I need warm clothes, so that's what I made this for. And I made this out of a blanket. Now, I say blanket, it was two blankets because I'd originally made a toaster sweater out of um, a blanket I bought, I can't remember when it was, maybe October, November last year, and I was gonna make this pattern, but I didn't have enough. And when I went back to the shop to find another blanket, they didn't have any. So I had to purchase another blanket, but then I just thought I'll buy two, and I found this fabric. Again, it's um, a blanket I bought from Primark, and it's a lovely pink color, and it has this detail through it, this, um, I don't know what you call that, stitching that makes it sort of like vertical stitching, I don't know, that, that, that effect, I've got no idea what that means, <laughs> just talking rubbish. So yeah, anyway, I love it. And it does have a huge hood on it, but I actually really love the hood, so I'll pop the hood up. Um, and as I say, I've made one before, and when it's really chilly, it's just so snuggly to sit in front of the TV <laughs> with this on. Um, so yeah, I love it. And I think it was worked out, but I don't know what say probably if it was the, it was about six pound to buy or seven pound to buy the fabric or the blanket I should say it's worked out as about um, fourteen pound in total. So I'm really happy with that. I think it's really nice and it's really lovely fabric, really really soft. It did sew up um, probably pretty much the same as if you were using any sort of fleece fabric. This doesn't have any stretch in it maybe a tiny tiny bit of stretch but not much stretch so this is why i was confused as to why i did the extra small because i did actually in the, i did actually think i need to make this slightly bigger for the fact that there's no stretch and this pattern is for stretch fabrics so anyway I was again i was having a bit of a mind blip in january um but yeah here's the pattern anyway if you haven't seen it already and i think originally this was another pattern you could buy sorry about my nails oh nails are chipped um but yes yeah, so you could buy this originally and i don't know whether it was a mccall's pattern or a new look pattern but i can't remember but they didn't do that anymore and this is 
the same pattern essentially, but just they've just released it in simplicity. And you can get lots of different versions. You can get like a jumper version with a hood and the long dress version with a hood, which is what I've made. You can also make shorts, but you can also make um, these sort of leggings as well. Um, quite snugly. And there's also this version here with a roll neck. You can see that. It's got a little roll neck on there. Um, but I wanted the one with a hood. And I have straightened the hem on this as well. It normally has a curved hem at the bottom, but I straightened it because I think it's just nicer to have a straight hem. And so, yeah, I'll stand back so you can have a look at it. So here's the full thing. And you can see it has a kangaroo pot pocket on the front. And I actually uh, made mine a little bit higher than what it suggests on the pattern, just because I thought it was a little bit low. Um, that's just where I found it comfortable to put my hands in. And I've made it a little bit shorter than what it is. And like I say, I've actually straightened off the hem and it does normally have a curved hem. Um, I did contemplate putting a ribbing on the wrists um, just to make it a little bit stretchier and easier. But in the end, I couldn't find anything that matched. So I just went with the same fabric and it's fine. It looks OK, actually. It is a little bit looser than my other version even though it's a fleece, it doesn't tend to stretch. It has got a tiny bit of stretching, but not loads. Um, and you can probably see it's just a little bit tight, I think, around this area here. But like I say, I'm going to just undo the stitching and try and release that. And then the lovely hood, which I adore. It's so snuggly. Um, and that's pretty much it. I do really like the shape of this as well. You can see it's got a lovely curve on the side. It just feels a little bit more fitted and a bit more stylish when you're slobbing around the house. So yeah, I took three inches off the length of this and I took one and a half inches off the sleeve length uh, to make it fit. And yeah, I really like this pattern. It's really simple, really nice to do. As I said, I wanted something more snugly around the house and I think it's a real bargain for... <laughs> the fabric that I made it out of. So yeah, um, I would probably make some more, but for now I think two is enough. And when they are threadbare, I will probably make another one. Um, and I will try to do them in some stretch fabric eventually. Um, I'm sure it's probably really nice if you made it in something that you could actually wear out and about. I think it's a really nice flattering sort of shape, so you could probably make one where you could actually wear it if you um, wanted to go out and about for a walk, maybe if you're dog walking or something like that, even just to um, keep yourself snugly. It's a really nice pattern. So yeah, that's Simplicity 9210. Okay, so for my second make for January, I have made another Georgie dress and I love this dress so much. This was fabric that was given to me from Minerva and it's um, a beautiful French terry that's one of their own. So it's their own fabrics that they've designed. And I ordered it not thinking I was gonna get this, but it, they did uh, give it to me. I was surprised and I love it. It's so beautiful and the colors in it are so gorgeous. It's really deep colours and you might not be able to pick up on it in this light but it is really beautiful you might just be able to see that's almost like a cerise pink and then a kind of ruby red um and a, and a kind of a magenta colour and it's all on a sort of I'd say it's a, a very deep um midnight blue background and it's really really lovely quality really really nice um it's heavy to might say medium weight to heavy um it's yeah just beautiful i would definitely recommend this fabric i really really love it i'm interested in probably getting some more for something else as a treat um because i think it's about 20 pounds a meter so it is quite expensive what's well, but expensive for me so it may not be for everybody's budget um but yeah, I really love it and I'm so pleased that I managed to make something else out of it. And of course, the first version I made was almost the wearable twirl in preparation for this fabric because I didn't want to cut this out in this fabric and it'd be wrong or not fit me. So I wanted to make sure it was OK. So I have made one for before. I'll put the link up in the corner if you wanted to see that first version, if you haven't already. 
and yeah I really really love this so I didn't make any other changes to it I did exactly the same thing as what I did on the other one I have made a size 8 on the shoulders so just literally the shoulder um, area and the back of the neck is an 8 and then all the front the crossover here and the chest downwards is a 10 um, I always have to make sure that the area around the front um, here at the arm side is always a 10 um, because I have I don't know whether it's a I wouldn't know what you'd call that quite a prominent uh, shoulder bone there that sort of sticks out so I have to make sure that that's a 10 but generally the space between my neck and my shoulder edge here is very small so I always have to do the smaller size there and I made version one this time. So previously I made version two. Now this is version one where you have a three quarter circle skirt. And the version two is a, a gathered skirt. So for version two, I think I used a, um, a cotton, this sort of, no, cotton jersey or a viscose jersey. I can't remember which one it was, but this is the French toe, which is a lot heavier. So it does suit this particular style or uh, version. And for this one, um, I think I made sure that I put elastic in the front. So I think I'd said previously in the other version that I put in cotton tape because they suggested that you could do that if you didn't have the, um, the see-through elastic. Um, and I put cotton tape in and it, it is quite rigid. And even though it doesn't move around, which so is quite good, it's quite rigid. So I did put in the elastic this time, the see-through elastic, and it has made a difference. It does feel um, easy to get on and off. Um, and the same that I had the problem with waist on this one where the elastic didn't quite fit. So they tell you to measure your finished garment measurement um, for your size and then cut the elastic plus your seam allowance and then stitch it and then sew that into the skirt, which I thought was a bit weird the first time I did that. So this time I didn't bother with that. I literally just used as much elastic as I needed because I found that the amount that you they tell you you need doesn't quite fit and they tell you not to stretch the elastic to fit it in but I would have had to stretch it to get it to fit in and it's happened on both versions this version and the previous version so I don't know what that's about whether the the, the fabric is stretching out I don't know but this fabric was actually quite good it didn't really stretch out even when I did the neckline this version didn't stretch out so I'm not quite sure what that's about. So that would be my tip. Just sew in the elastic as you would normally. <laughs> Don't do it their way. Um, and then what else did I do? I just made a two centimetre um, hem on the sleeves and the skirt. Just because I felt it was nicer to have a big bit of a bigger hem on those bits. And I think that's pretty much it. The skirt length for this, um, I had to take off. 26 centimetres, so that's roughly 10 and a quarter inches. And again, I think this is meant to be a lot longer, almost like a midi length um, length. I know for the previous version, I had to take off 15 and a half inches off that one, um, which just seems like a ridiculous amount of fabric to have to cut off really. Um, but fortunately, I, I already know that I have to shorten all the skirts that I make, so I'd already taken off quite a large chunk. Um, so we didn't have to reduce anything um, but yeah so that's what I took off for the skirt for this because I like the length just to sit above my knee especially if I'm wearing a winter version with tights I just feel it looks more flattering to wear it uh, shorter and then wear boots with it I did have a message from a lovely lady that has messaged me quite a few times and she was asking what I'm wearing my little dresses with and I just wear them with big chunky boots so that look I, I'm, ha I'm happy with and I can get away with it so um, that's what I do I just wear it with big boots and you can wear it with long boots so knee length boots or short boots whatever boots you have I just find it looks nice with tights so yeah I should stand back and let you see this and hopefully you can see the colours because it is just stunning but the, the light again is going dark so I'm really hopefully hoping that you are going to see the impact of these beautiful colours but I did put on some pictures on Instagram um, if you haven't seen them I'll try and put them in the corner um, as I'm chatting about this so that you can see so, yeah you can't really see I don't think the colours of this but um, you can see roughly the length um, again, just above my knee, made it pretty much the same as the other version. 
but with this skirt it is a three quarter length skirt and there's no gathering it's just um, put straight in um, but you have the same thing with the crossover on the chest which I think is really really lovely heavier version so it's much warmer and yeah I really really love it I really really love this version um, the only thing I think with this is the seam underneath here is quite thick so I keep forgetting to go in with my scissors and like layer that seam a little bit so it's just sitting a little bit thick um, for me but I can do that at some point I will do it afterwards but yeah, that's my only thing with that one, is that that seems quite thick. Um, but yeah, generally, I'm over the moon with this. I think it's so beautiful. I just wish you could see the colours in it properly. Um, I will try and tamper with the lighting on the, um, the recording so that you can just try and get more of these colours in, because it's just so, so beautiful. Really beautiful fabric. Definitely recommend it. So yeah, I've worn this loads already. I wore it on Tuesday night for Valentine's. Um, that's why my nails are painted, but now it's all chipped and gone. Rubbish. <laughs> my nails are just rubbish. They don't take on colour very well. They chip really, really quickly. It's probably because I'm always washing my hands. I'm a bit obsessive for washing my hands. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's beautiful. And I've worn it loads. And every time I've worn it, people have commented and said how beautiful it is. And my mother-in-law said how much she loved this fabric. She went and bought the fabric straight away from Minerva. I think it was a pre-order at the time. I don't know whether they have it in stock or you have to pre-order it, but it is beautiful. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend it. I'm not going to get any uh, commission by this, by the way. I'm, uh, I don't get, I'm not an, um, an affiliate um, for Minerva. So um, if you wanted to see, see the fabric, then I'll put the link down below. But it is just a straight link to take you to Minerva to see this fabric. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it, really. There's nothing else to say other than I love this pattern. It's really comfortable. Like I said before, it does take up a lot of fabric. I felt more surprisingly than um, I was realising. I didn't know it was going to take up so much fabric. I think it took about three metres of fabric in total. And that's not counting the lining. So you have to line the inside. And I used a viscose jersey, which I purchased off eBay. And it actually is quite good quality viscose jersey. So I will put that link below as well, if they still have it. Um, I think I bought something like five meters because it just worked out cheaper if you bought more. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's nothing else I can say about that. I'll put my measurements down below as well in the description. So. If you want to compare anything, I would try and think of as many things as I can with the sizing because whenever I want to make a pattern, I search the you know YouTube and Instagram for other people's recommended recommendations on sizing. I really want to try and make sure that if you want to make this, that you kind of have a, a good idea as to what size to make and what adjustments you may may need to make. I think I said previously I don't think that. Um, the the kind of where the waist sits is that deep so for me I've not changed this at all and it just pretty much sits on my waist but I've got a really short body and I am shorty so I think you definitely need to lengthen this if you are taller so yeah that's it that's that's what I made for January now I have made something else um but it is not sewing so if you're not interested in knitting then switch off now <laughs> so at Christmas time I said previously I was doing a bit of knitting just sitting in front of the TV um, I do quite like having a little bit of a knit in front of the TV and my husband was a bit jealous of the hat I made I don't think he actually wanted that hat specifically I did say do you want me to make me this hat and he was not interested he wanted a specific sort of hat that he was calling, um, what was he calling it? He was calling it a, um, oh, I can't remember what he was calling it now, but it was essentially a fisherman's hat. So you may have seen this before. They have got a flat top almost. They're not a beanie hat. When you put it on, it's very, very short. So it's pretty much flat on your head and it's kind of just straight around 
your crown. So it sits flat kind of thing. I can't really describe it. If I can find a picture of somebody wearing something similar, I will put it up. I won't be able to get any pictures of my husband in it. He will not have his pictures <laughs> on the internet. He's not remotely um, someone that does social media or anything like that. He's a very private person, so there's not much chance of me getting a picture of him in this. Um, but essentially, it's kind of flat. It's a fisherman's hat. Well, there was another word for it as well. Um, yeah, I can't remember any of them. Yeah, so anyway, that's what he wanted. So I found a free pattern off the internet and it wasn't really so much a pattern it was more of a youtube tutorial with a description of how to make it underneath um but essentially it's just to get that flat top bit there or intense decreases across the top to get that sort of effect you can probably just see it there try and get my head out of the way so it focuses um yeah and that was very hard to knit and i was cursing him thinking why has he made me knit this stupid hat um, but I managed it in the end, I got there. Um, so yeah, and he really loves it. So I did say to him, you're never getting one of these again. That was too hard to knit. It was just because it gets so tight towards the top. You have to then use double pointed needles and you have to have four needles because there's no way you can um, knit on the round. It's just too tight. So, but eventually I made it and he's happy with it. So it keeps his head warm and it looks exactly how he wanted it to look. Um, for a free pattern, I thought it was actually quite good. I'll put that link down below as well. So that's all I made in January. Um, it was quite um, tight really for timing with January. I know January is a long month, but I had a lot going on in January. Um, lots to do with work and also with the um, filing of the tax return. I always leave it to last minute and I have to do my own and my maths is not great and so therefore <laughs> it's a struggle for me. Um, yeah, so that takes up a lot of my brain power and so I didn't really get that much done but I'm happy with what I made. I'm really chuffed with this dress. I love my simplicity snuggly hoodie dress um and yeah they got a little bit of knitting done as well and so yeah that's all i've got to say for my january makes i really hope you've enjoyed watching and do please message if there's anything that i have forgotten to mention or any information you want regarding the makes then please do ask um if anything that i've not mentioned i'm happy to answer if you've enjoyed watching today please do hit the like button and if you're not a subscriber please do subscribe I would be so happy to have you come along on my sewing journey. And yeah, so I hope you're all getting some sewing done and you're having a lovely week. And I shall see you again very soon. And as always, sending you all loads of love. Bye.